This is not a drill. Drake and Rihanna have turned on their virtual flirt game for the whole world to see, and this is 100% the type of quarantine content we never knew we needed. What's up guys, it's Sizzle Morad here with Clever News, bringing you all the latest entertainment tea updates from my Clever Home Studio as we continue to practice safe measures. And you know what they say, quarantine makes people do crazy things. Okay, so they don't say that, but they definitely should because as we've come to find out, celebrities are doing what they can to stay busy and contain their sanity while helping stop the spread of the virus. Even if that means reigniting an old flame, you know, just to keep the rest of us on our toes. Thankfully, we've been blessed with plenty of entertainment to get us through these trying times, whether that be celebs singing who probably shouldn't be singing or celebs sparking up old feuds that we thought were over. But Drake and Rihanna just pretty much gifted us with a new form of entertainment and are putting the social in social distancing by partaking in a subtle flirting affair via Instagram Live. It all started when the two both joined in on DJ Spade's Instagram Live at 3 a.m. earlier this week as thousands of fans noticed they were going back and forth while taking turns sassing each other. Drake asked Rihanna if she could help Spade with his internet connection, to which she responded with, Champs, we waiting for your boys. At one point, Drake clearly attempted to get Rihanna's attention when he wrote, Dub plate come pretty like a Fenty foundation. Rihanna then responded with this gem, which basically just called Drake out for being thirsty, saying, give Drake some water. Drake then sassed back, telling Rihanna that she had a bad attitude. And I don't know about you guys, but if I had a pair of scissors, I'd be able to cut right through this lusty tension. The two then went back and forth like this for a while, but it was Drake's comment that sent fans into a spiral of hope that Rihanna could possibly save us from the sadness of what's going on in the world right now. He said, quote, Rihanna, drop R12 right now. Okay, so technically, we're all just waiting on R9, but at this point, you know, we will take what we can get. So apparently, it's a universal thing that when a dude is bored, he'll put forth his best efforts in reigniting an old flame, but this time around, I'm kind of here for it. Fans, on the other hand, seem to be sending mixed reviews about the interaction between the two, as some have taken to social media to assure fans that there is nothing to get all up in arms over. One user wrote, Am I the only Navy that doesn't have a problem with Drake and Rihanna's relationship slash friendship? Aubrey is harmless, like Rihanna got that boy under control, so I don't know. Another tweeted, Drake and Rihanna were interacting on Instagram Live last night. Damn, quarantine got everybody bored for real. Both Drake and Rihanna are in separate self-quarantine mode as Drake is currently staying in Toronto and Rihanna recently announced she'll be giving a $5 million donation to help the US and other countries through her Clara Lionel Foundation. The money will go towards supporting local food banks, purchasing medical equipment and providing testing supplies to poverty-stricken countries. Riri has also pledged to donate $700,000 to buy more ventilators for her home country, Barbados. I stand firm with what I've always believed, Rihanna truly is the gift that keeps on giving, especially as soon as R9 drops. I mean, R12 drops. But until then, I'll just be over here patiently waiting, dreaming, hoping that Rihanna might surprise us with that new album sometime very soon. But you guys, I really want to know what you think about this whole interaction. Are you totally here for Rihanna and Drake's flirtation? Or are you really hoping they just don't go down that road again? Get the conversation started right here in the comment section below. Then click right over here to see some pictures never seen before of Zayn Malik. And as always, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you never miss a Clever News update. I'm your host, Susan Morad. Thanks for hanging out with me in my at-home studio. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.